Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 27th of February. I'm James Spann. Hey, a warming trend begins today. In fact, by Sunday, we'll see low 70s. So the good thing, these cold snaps don't last too long late in the season. Take a look at the big picture this morning. Big trough, cold trough covers the eastern half of the United States. And yep, pretty cold around here. Starting off the day as cold as 15 at Haleyville. Those were captured at 5 o'clock. These are not lows. Many spots will be colder than this uh, for the minimum before it's all over. Birmingham at that point had 23. But we'll expect the high today around 50 moving in the right direction. You can see how the cold airs flooded much of the nation east of the Rockies. On the watch warning map, all Alabama counties, all 67 of them under a red flag warning. That's for the potential for wildfire danger. I mean, the dew points are almost down to zero. This air is dry as could be, and uh, we advise caution with any outdoor burning. Up north, winter storm watches for parts of Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, and also some uh, winter storm issues around Michigan, as you can see, for snow. This is the rain for the next five days. Valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Heavier numbers off to the west of here. About two and a half inches around El Dorado, Arkansas. In Alabama, the heavier totals around the northwestern corner of the state. Take a look at the GFS. This is the 06C run. Valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. Troughing over the northeast, beginning to lift out. The sky will be sunny, and the high today will be in the upper 40s to near 50. Tomorrow will be cold early in the day. We'll go back in the 20s, but the high should be in the mid to upper 50s. The sky partly to mostly sunny during the day, but to the west there is a surface low near Wichita Falls, Texas, and a warm front will be extending from that that will be passing through here tomorrow night, and accordingly, clouds will increase and there is clearly a chance we'll see some light rain tomorrow night. In fact, the uh, model is coming a little more aggressive with that. So we'll probably hit that a bit harder. And it might be late tomorrow night, you know, maybe midnight or even after midnight into early Saturday morning. But again, clearly a risk of some light rain at that point. And then Saturday, as we start the weekend, we'll have the chance of some rain, uh, light rain, probably early in the day. But I think the bulk of the daytime will be dry. And warmer with a high in the 60s. The uh, GFS showing 63. The NAM warmer with 67. And then Sunday should be a mild day. The GFS still printing a high of 72 here. But you can see the action west of the state. And some of those showers might reach us Sunday night. But the next big rain day should be Monday. Here's a look at Monday. You can see the wave west of the state and down below that. A surface low near Bristol, Tennessee, with a band of showers extending below that. And we've seen varying solutions of the placement of the surface low, but one way or the other, it's going to be wet Monday. Whether we have thunderstorms or not, that's up for debate. But severe weather one way or the other looks unlikely. And a cold 1044 high coming in behind that. And this is Tuesday. Now, this run is backed off on the severity of the cold. I think it's bogus. I think the GFS doesn't have a clue. Uh, it's showing a high of 52 here on Tuesday with those kind of thickness values. I'm not so sure we're going to get above 39 or 40 with a stiff north wind. I think it'll be a lot colder than that. Uh, Wednesday, I think Wednesday morning, we'll see lows in the upper teens, kind of like this morning. Uh, and again, the high Wednesday would be in the 40s. I think these thickness values are way too high. And Thursday of next week, that should begin a warming process on uh, March the 6th. Go out there the following day, a surface low develops in the Gulf. That makes you wonder. And then after that, that thing moves up to a near Jacksonville. And of course, if by chance we had some cold air in place, you know what that might bring, a late season snow. But uh, by then, we'll probably moderate. And if that does happen, that would most likely be just rain. Here's the end of the forecast on the 14th. 
Hey, look at the heights coming way up. If this is right, that would be very mild, if not warm, for mid-March over much of the United States. As finally, the maps are starting to look like spring. And I think that's a good thing for most everybody. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. Notes on the blog. Be traveling later today, going to Oxford for a, a storm alert show this evening. So just one video today. Back to the two-a-day schedule tomorrow. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News, the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.